Hello there, my name is Relo Kai with ButcherBird Productions, and this is a slightly different video where I get to show you guys how I rebuilt my PC so that I can get out even better content for you all. When I was doing my last animation, go check that out if you haven't seen it, I had horrendous render times, requiring me to take more time to render the animation than actually making it. I decided that I needed an upgrade, and I saw that having a dual graphics card setup or dual GPU setup greatly reduces render times in Blender. This simply means that I have two graphics cards, called GPUs for short, installed in my computer. I already had one GPU, and my motherboard had enough PCIe slots to accommodate another one. However, the second one would only run at half power. That was no good. So in addition to a second GPU, I would need a new motherboard. On top of that, I would need to upgrade my power supply unit, or PSU, so it could pump out enough power to power the whole setup. I'll link my new and old setups in the description so you can see what I'm working with. I time-lapsed myself putting it all together as well, so I'll explain what I'm doing while we go through it. Let's get into it. First things first, I had to clean out all of the dust from my PC so I could handle everything properly. Next step, I removed the old power supply and unplugged everything from it. Now time to remove all the parts from the motherboard, starting with the GPU, then the Wi-Fi card. Next, I had to remove the CPU cooler. I have an aftermarket one, which keeps my PC super cool, but this thing is a pain to install and remove. Time to remove the motherboard. I had to make sure I was removing the right screws. Thankfully, I still have all the manuals. There she is, the old motherboard is out. And here's the new one. Next up, move over the CPU. I decided to clean off the thermal paste on it and replace it with some fresh paste. Now I'm installing the motherboard. It took a few attempts to get it done right, but I got there in the end. When I was removing the old motherboard, one of the screws didn't come out correctly, so I spent some time fixing that. Now we're screwing in the CPU cooler. I told you this thing was a pain. I had to go get a band-aid, cut my finger on the CPU cooler. CPU cooler is in. Time for the RAM sticks. It's as easy as that. Now I'm putting in the M.2 hard drive. The new motherboard has a cover over the M.2 slots with special screws. Had to go find the screwdriver that came with the motherboard. Thank you. 
Time for the new power supply. The idea is to try to get this thing to boot before I put everything in. I screwed in the PSU first thing. Don't do this. Wait until you have everything connected first. Here, I'm connecting the PSU to the rest of the setup. Did you see it? No? We'll get to that later. Now I'm connecting the case cables to the motherboard. Time to see if it will boot. Mm, but the power button's not working. I found out that I put my motherboard in over some of the case cables, including the power button cable. I just loosened the motherboard and pulled them out from under it. Still not working though. Getting out the new GPU? This thing is massive. This is the comparison to my old GPU. Plugging in the old GPU. Round three. It's still not booting though. I could tell that something wasn't getting power, and the CPU connectors were bothering me. Remember me asking if you saw something earlier? Well, guess what? I didn't plug the CPU cable into the PSU, so my CPU wasn't getting power. Here, I noticed that my GPU had three power plugs, as opposed to my old one, which only had one. I wanted to make sure I was plugging it in right. Google? Use a separate cord for each plug. Thanks! Now, I was plugging in the rest of the cables, including the ones to the extra hard drives. I moved the HD audio cable for the case so I could make room for the new GPU. One last boot attempt. Success! Plugging in the keyboard and mouse to check if the desktop works. Surprisingly, it was pretty much plug and play. No data lost. Time to plug in the new GPU. I couldn't see the slot I was putting it in, so I removed the old GPU, put in the new one, then reattached the old one. Here, I'm plugging in the hard drives. The SATA ports were placed a little weirdly, so I had to fiddle with it a bit.
Final boot. Everything seemed to be working correctly. I look like I'm having trouble with something here, but I honestly couldn't tell you what the problem was. Doing some final cable management, then we get to close back up the PC. And all I'm doing now is setting back up my desk. So, was it all worth it? Well, my previous render time for this frame was about 7 minutes, 11 seconds. For this new setup, 47 seconds. Yeah, when I first saw this frame being rendered, I thought I did something wrong because it was going so fast. I also tried rendering a frame for my Red Star animation, and it was nearly instant. That animation took forever to make because all the clouds slowed down my computer by a lot. So overall, this was definitely worth it. And that's good news for you guys, so look forward to more animations in the future. Here's a look at this thing running. Thanks so much for watching! One quick note, you may have noticed that I'm using a new font for this video subtitles. It's Open Dyslexic, a font that should help those with dyslexia in reading the subtitles. If it helps anyone, and if you want me to keep using it in the future, let me know in the comments. In any case, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side.